Welcome to the Michael Cooley podcast on rethinking leadership. In these episodes, we will look at leadership with a fresh perspective and take your leadership effectiveness to the next level. For more information, go to cooleyinstitute.com and follow Michael's continuous learning insights on social media. going to separate between leadership and authority it's a, this is a big subject we're not going to into it, into it now but let's take about authority let's talk about authority for now and when I talk about authority I mean a boss a CEO your manager, government, father, mother, teacher, school principal, your direct supervisor, the chairman, whomever you consider to be in a position of authority. People lose confidence and trust in authority in two situations. Number one is when they see that authority or whom they call leaders is not competent. They don't know how to do the job. The boss doesn't know how to be your boss. The CEO doesn't know how to run the company. The government is not running the country your father or your mother or your teacher or your school principal or whoever you consider as boss quote unquote the way people talk about it leader they don't know how to do their job how does that manifest itself it manifests itself through the continuation of the problems that they're supposed to solve, they're entrusted of solving, and when they keep on, when they create more problems. So you expect your manager to manage. When your manager is not managing, right, instead of creating harmony, efficiency, effectiveness, is creating more waste of resources, conflict, uh, tension, mess, chaos, then your manager is not doing the job. Then there is, a ma there is an issue of competence. When the government is not solving the problems of the country, and as a result of that, people are suffering, and the, in, in spite of the chances that the government is being given, one after the other, you know, one month after the other, one year after the other, opportunity after the other, and still problems are not being solved, then the, gover the people will lose trust and confidence in the government because they're delivering on the expectations of the constituency of the people whom they trusted that this authority will have enough competence to know how to solve the problem at least some of the problems because let's assume some problems are too complicated and let's assume um, um, the conditions for solving some other problems are not there but definitely some of the problems can be solved and when the message is made to the authority, to your boss, to the chiefs, to the, to the government, to your parents, to whatever that you consider authority, that, listen, there's a problem. And even you go as far as suggesting to authority what to do and showing them the way and giving them hints and telling them this is the option and that's the option, right? So you, you're participating to the problem solving mechanism and they still they're not exercising authority to solve the problem then of course there's a lack of um, trust and then it becomes complicated and a new dynamic start and frustration happens and eventually if the problem is not solved the lack of trust then they're going to be a big issue either they're going to be an explosion or they're going to be a suppression or tyranny or a revolution or something bad will happen because you know, tension is just building up. Now, that's one. 
The other case is when there's no mismatch of the value system. And in this case, government, boss, authority, manager, supervisor, father, mother, whatever, sup teacher, principal, they know how to do the job, they're competent. But they don't follow the same value principles that you follow. And what do I mean by value principle? My, I mean their priorities, what they really care about. So if you have a very competent, bo competent boss who is so smart but is really focusing all their attention on their own interest at the expense of the organization and yourself, then you have a problem. If you have a CEO so smart but is looking after, you know, the policies and the plans that serve his or her interest at the expense of what's best for the company, then you have a problem. When th themselves is a priority at the expense of the people whom they are managing, that's when you can have a problem. When you feel from inside and you see the evidence of that, that this government does not care, your boss does not care. Your manager does not care. Your mom or dad does not care. Your school principal, your teacher does not care. You feel that. It's not a matter of competence. It's a matter of commitment, loyalty, and values to the task, to the mission that they have been entrusted with. And that is to take care of you and make sure that they're running the situation or the, you know, the environment or the ecosystem or the organization, whatever that is, in the way that serves your interests first, the constituency, the students, the staff, the employees. So every time you see that there's tension between staff and their boss or staff um, or people and their government and family members with their, you know, parents, it's one of these cases. Either there's lack of confidence in their competence or their lack of competence, lack of confidence and trust in their value system, in what they really care about. And it's this situation is so common. It is so common. Now, having said that, sometimes people become um, unfair in their judgment of their authority because usually most people simplify things or look at situations in a far simpler way than they really are. So people tend to complain that the government or the boss or the manager or my CEO or my parents or whatever, the school, the teacher, is not meeting my expectations in solving the problem as soon as I want them to. And that coming from your lack of understanding of the complexity of the issue or that it's not really entirely in their hand or that you as part of the whole problem, you're not doing your share, or there are not enough resources, or the timing is not right, or all the elements that will help the problem be solved are not there. So you have to keep that in mind as well. Because sometimes people oversimplify the things and they exceed you know, the, the, a fair level of expectation from their bosses. But it's a common problem. So when you want to analyze, every time you look, you see a situation like this, lack of trust, you have to take what I've just said into account and make sure that your diagnosis is proper so that you can come up with the right conclusions. Thank you for listening to the Michael Cooley podcast. Please visit cooleyinstitute.com and send us an email. We would love to hear your comments and thoughts on this episode. And remember to follow Michael's continuous learning insights on social media.